My name is uh, Lara, I'm a visual artist uh, from London, uh, but I was born in France and grew up in France most of my life. I currently uh, show work at Star Gallery. The name of the show is Where Is Everyone? The work specifically looks at uh, nature nurture. Uh, and so again, there's this notion of duality between uh, control and lack of control. Um, and so essentially they were created or derived from uh, a previously drawn piece um, that was then uh, sketched out and I then uh, cut it up and deconstructed it and then reassembled it uh, into eight grids. Uh, so four of those grids were uh, constructed purposefully, uh, referring to um, nature and our free will. And then four of the grids were constructed at random, referring to our lack of control of our circumstances and upbringing. Um, and so then two of the layers would be overlayered. And that's basically the structure of the pieces in the show. Another point would be looking at the scales of the work. So there is small, medium and large. The smaller scale, uh, that's uh, more of a reference to the cellular uh, scientific DNA abstraction. Then there is the, uh, the mid scale, which is more figurative and also uh, so the larger scale which is more of a intangible immaterial uh, ethereal abstraction so it's uh, three series where are, where am i where are you where are we so it's the i you we uh, which refers to again the microcosm macrocosm Uh, and then also playing with past, present and future. Uh, again, the three levels of uh, understanding, the three scales. Everything is defined by its opposites. This could actually even be seen, uh, even on a very basic level, uh, from a physical point, so duality in a physical sense, um, or on a conceptual level. Uh, but basically, it's everywhere. The artwork is maybe a way of uh, trying to escape uh, the binary world uh, and way of thinking uh, that is inherent to uh, the human condition. I also like the idea of uh, having a, a piece that is individual but also part of a whole. Uh, so very often I would uh, create a piece that is one big piece, uh, but then divided, framed and showcased as an individual piece itself. Um, and then there's still this idea of the individual and the masses. One can't exist without the other. It's a worse habit than probably just rocking myself in the room and drawing a load of lines, really, <laughs> what else I mean. One loses track of time and it's kind of a form of meditation, really. The creativity or the creative process is beforehand and once the idea is decided upon, it's more about executing the piece. Ultimately, it's about staying engaged in the practice, uh, 
looking at it for collaborations um, and different uh, projects really. I think it's important to uh, have a notion of art history and the movements uh, that have occurred. But I think it's also important to not get overwhelmed by it, uh, just to be able to allow yourself to be creative and allow yourself that freedom. I'm currently involved in uh, two children's books. So one is actually about to be published and is coming out in the next few weeks. Uh, one is in the beginning stages. Um, I'm also collaborating on uh, the artwork for some uh, deck of cards, playing cards. Uh, I'm also finalising right now uh, a piece uh, that is a response to a music track for a record company. Uh, so that's quite fun. Uh, and then in terms of uh, future shows, uh, I will be showing uh, a few pieces in a group show in Scotland. Uh, I'll also be participating in the Catford Art Show and then there should be a few other shows uh, but yeah, nothing has been yet confirmed but hopefully soon.